Stupid and dumb does come to man, first of all, definitely. A man in jail tonight after police say he robbed a woman, then tried to ask her out on a date. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. Police say this guy didn't just ask his victim out on a date, but he asked her for her phone number, then called her several times from his phone. Ralph Iannotti is live tonight at the Allegheny County Jail with the exclusive story. Ralph. Well, good evening, Kimberly. What in the world was this guy thinking? Pittsburgh man is locked up here tonight behind bars, and just when you think you've seen everything and heard it all before, something like this comes along. That's the greatest one I've heard yet so far. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. A young woman got off a bus and was waiting for her mother here on Brownsville Road in Nobles Lane. That's when police say she was approached by 26-year-old John Jardini of Carrick. Jardini took $60 from the girl, but then something else happened. After he took her money, Jardini called the woman on his cell phone, not once, but twice, even asking her if she had a boyfriend and do you want to go out. Police got a search warrant for his phone records, and as they were tracking him down, closing in on him, he allegedly saw the girl and her mother at this store on Brownsville Road and assaulted both of them. He was arrested on the spot and positively identified as the same guy who earlier robbed the girl. On Brownsville Road tonight, not far from where the crime occurred, people were incredulous when we told them about Giardini's robbery arrest and his attempt to date his victim. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's just unreal. I thought he was a complete airhead. At Carrick's Sheer Difference Hair Center, reaction was similar. Now, how could you be that damn stupid? That dumb. Now, Giardini was in court today and ordered held for trial on that robbery charge. He also faces charges of aggravated assault and resisting arrest in connection with that confrontation he had with the girl and her mother outside the food store on Brownsville Road. We're live tonight outside the Allegheny County Jail. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.